Yeah, come in. Yo. Guten Morgen, Herr Fahrer. Dude, the snowstorm is whack. Took me like two and a half hours to get here. What are you driving? Escalade Hybrid. <laughs> I know, right? It's Take fun. the day off. We're going shopping. I got to review the car. Do you know what this is? Uh, it looks like some sort of crocodile Dundee knife with an onion ring on it. Georgian hunting knife with onion ring on top. Do you okay. know what we're doing today? I don't have the first clue we're doing today. How much space is in that truck? I mean, it's, you know, it's big. It's a full-size truck. How big is your cat? My cat is 11 pounds. How many cats could you fit in that truck? Easily 100 cats. What we need to put in that thing may be 100 plus cats in size. All right. We're going to ring on top of it. Not anymore, but good to know. We're going shopping. Shopping. Uh, I'm taking off work for shopping. Okay, what are we shopping for? Something hunted. Hunt, like previously hunted? What did you have for dinner last night? Steak fajitas. Somebody hunted that in Mexico. We're going to New Jersey. <laughs> So get this, right? Alex calls me up in the middle of reviewing a car. I go to his crib, pick him up. He gives me an address to some place in New Jersey. He says we're going to find something that's been hunted. God knows what that means. Then he gets in the car after drinking six shots of espresso and promptly passes out. It's not the kind of behavior I expect from a rational human being. That man is not rational. Since I have an opportunity, I may as well kill two birds with one stone and tell you a little something about this car. It's 2009. Cadillac Escalade Hybrid. Now, most of you are probably thinking right now, why would I be driving this car around? Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty useless vehicle. On the other hand, it is an example of technology applied to an existing car platform. For instance, Chrysler, General Motors, and BMW got together to construct a sort of modular hybrid platform for a full-size SUV that's already in production. The hybrid powertrain does give you better fuel mileage than just the gas version. But this Escalade hybrid costs $75,000. Okay, 75 grand. Think about what you could buy for 75 grand. You could buy a Prius and a Corvette. Improving fuel economy on any car is a good thing. Here's the problem there are a total of nine hybrid badges on this car. Okay, on the outside alone. On the inside, there's two more. And if you're gonna drive around with hybrid badges all over the car, and if you're gonna do that, I mean, you really should be pulling better than 15 miles to the gallon. The other thing is that the Tahoe Hybrid comes with numerous aerodynamic improvements to help improve fuel economy as well. For instance, a different air dam, lack of a roof rack, uh, lower rolling resistance tires, a different wheel design, things like that that are just subtle differences that when they add up really improve fuel economy. The Escalade doesn't have that stuff. That was a mistake. Why not have as big an imp improvement as you possibly can? This car has a roof rack. That creates drag. Not to mention, this car has standard 22-inch wheels. The smaller wheels aren't even an option. So if you want the hybrid technology, you have to get all this other stuff too. A standard feature on pretty much all hybrid cars these days is some sort of efficiency gauge, showing you how well you're balancing your battery and fuel consumption, and then your regenerative braking, etc., etc. The Escalade is no exception. This car has regenerative braking? Yeah, it does, Alex. Wakes up just in time for that. It has Impressive. regenerative braking. I have tried to keep this gauge within the efficiency zone. To do that, you have to drive so freakishly slow, okay? that every crazy New York City cab driver with a gun will be using your hybrid badges for target practice within an hour's time, mark my words. Slow enough, you might not even get to the dealership to buy the car. You keep your old car, drive that better, save more money. True. <laughs> your ancestors had to make way without supermarkets, without and, uh, and, you know, What are you talking about ancestors? This without, is 2009, we're, we're in a house? Yeah, and you know something? 56? Imagine here, you're cold. Right yeah, pull it. This is a this house. Is yeah. yeah. This is a guy's house. Yeah. See the sign? Taxidermy <laughs> studio? Are you kidding? No, why would I be kidding, dude? This is you, art. Art? You buy, com you buy comic books? You don't, you hunt? But they, they're stuffing your friggin' bear here? What are you doing? My dog. Oh my <laughs> god. 
Ah. I'm not carrying dead animals back for you. It's not dead animals, man. It's art in the form of nature. <laughs> what are we buying? <laughs> we're not buying something, we're picking it up. Oh my god. You ever meet my old dog? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. You meet my new dog. This is not good. Robert, Alex. Alex. You remember me? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It's my friend Matt Farrow. What are you looking for today? What, what, are, what are we looking for? A, a certain bear. Yeah. Um, preferably in a, a snarlier position than this one. Open mouth. Yeah. Okay. Aggressive. That's an angry looking bear. That's an angry looking bear? Yeah, open mouth tends to be more angrier looking compared to. Yeah, this bear is just chilling right here. This is a this is a content bear. Which is the way the bears normally are in the wild. Yeah, I'm not leaving you your shop today without buying some. Okay. You, no, you know, because I like I liked it when I first. Can I make it. a suggestion? I love the turkey. Three hundred for the turkey versus <laughs> seventy hundred for the bear. The turkey is so worth it. Yeah. Amortized over <laughs> years of conversation. That's like cents a day. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's a better value than any um, charity organization for another country. This is the head of an elk. Is this the wear? Wait, can, can, you can you wear it? You can wear it. <laughs> oh God, this is so creepy. Like, uh, like if Sarcophagus was in concert. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of shark is that? That's a mako. It's a mako shark. Okay. For six fifty, huh? Yeah. You know, if you were to charter a boat and then you oh, yeah, take a day yeah, off yeah, work yeah, by bait, you know, you, you could spend a thousand bucks to catch oh, yeah, that. Or for six fifty you could make up a story and you'd be right there. Well, 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 same well, who's making it up? I went to Jersey to visit <laughs> this guy Rob is great. <laughs> the story is included. Yeah. Yeah. I have this bear, man. Oh, this is a custom bear, right? No, the other bear, the other bear is available. And the other bear may actually fit in the car. No, this is like a nice, thick bear. That one see. back there is not bolted down. Is not bolted down? No. Whoa! Oh, so yeah, we could we could take the bear sort of without the base. Well, so the bear could just be on my floor. <laughs> if this bear was just in the living room without a base, right. you might actually think when you came home, yeah, there was a bear. There's a bear in the living room. <laughs> yeah. totally like, what's that bear doing here? Yeah. I mean, unless the bear didn't bring the base with them. <laughs> and that bear is for sale right, right now. Yeah. Over there. And for how much? You know, without the base, 1500 yeah. We're buying it. Okay. We're taking that bear. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm glad if, at least that we came here that we bought something. Okay. I would have felt really uh, But for the, if I buy that bear, you're buying the turkey. How long will it take to dust it? Wait a second, how's this gonna work? It's gonna work. On his side. Wait a second. This bear's not going on his side. Wait, what if we put the back to oh, the regular Take the bear out. To... Put the bear on the ground. Put Helmut down. <laughs> yeah, tell me. But the terror. <laughs> oh! Shit, we lost the tooth. <laughs> <laughs> But it's not a real tooth, though. Good. If you're wondering why anybody would buy an Escalade hybrid, well, join the club, because we <laughs> are too. Except we found that it is actually quite good for moving taxidermy. <laughs> Isn't that right, Helmut? Yes. You can move not just one bear, but probably two or three smaller Using bears. This is New York City where people are not impressed by the sight of a prone man near a bear. <laughs> I'm pretending to be injured, not homeless. 